Here's a part of the technique and control training session, last an hour, in a small garden area in the grid we set up to replicate that which is 10 by 10. So first start off with lovely in-step technique, two touch, one foot to the other, two minutes. And you can do it from well, control and pass with the same foot. Then move on to one touch, staying on your toes, pass to each other. Then passing on the move for two minutes, passing in front of your teammate, looking at the weight of the pass. Do the same with le uh, low jaw technique. Again, really focusing on to make sure you hit with the laces, getting the right technique before you progress. So two touch. In this small area, focus on technique rather than power. For two minutes, for two touch. Swap on left and right foot. And now try and do this one touch, staying on your toes. Left and right foot again. Now low jaw passing again on the move, moving up and down, it's a small area. We can still get the technique and get used to getting the weight on the pass and controlling it and passing it in front of you. Now, free type passing, where we use three different parts of our foot. In step, laces, and outside. So, very good for your coordination and being able to use different parts of the feet for passing whatever situation you're in. So, five minutes on the right foot. Five minutes on the left foot, doing the same thing. Now looking at control on your back foot towards the colour call. So the colour call could be anywhere random, so you may have to control the opposite foot, but the main thing is that they roll backwards towards your body, open your body and touch it towards the colour cone. It's good for your reactions and awareness and first touch. Now the opposite this time control on the front foot. So angle your body to touch it in front of you. It's a very good preparation of those, uh, say for example, a defender behind you. So controlling the ball into space in front to move away from the defender. Now, uh, bodies, instead bodies, so it's passing bodies for three minutes, looking at your technique, left and right foot. Now, bodies control either from one foot to the other or the same foot with your knee. If you try it from one foot to the other, it would be perfect. Very good for coordination. And the same thing now, volleys, three type bodies, two minutes on your left, two minutes on your right, instep, laces, outside. Now, 
Random cone passing, this means whatever the cone, you move from different cones, they'll place randomly around, give me loads of different passing angles, so somebody's in the same position. You can either do just right foot, and then swap to just left foot, or rotate every other go or so on, right and left foot, but make sure you use both feet. This gives you loads of different angles to pass. So the same thing with volleys though now instead. So volleying back to your partner, again, you can change right to left, or do all right and then swap to all left. Through the middle of the ball to get it back to your partner. And now we call out direction and you touch the ball in the direction that it's called. So on your toes again another first touch drill, building awareness, sharpness with your first touch and touching that ball out your body to set yourself up in the game for what you want to do next. So control boxes where you pass from one person to the other using your insteps to begin with and then low drilled it's got to be a nice soft touch to keep the ball in the area to work on that nice soft first touch laces and low drilled and your pass accuracy Right, so if you enjoyed the video, please go to our website or go to any of our social media channels to see uh, you can see more details and more information if you like what you saw today.